Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this, my, well, my welcome to the day, my daily vlog. It is the 4th of September. It is Sunday, I believe. The four, Is it Sunday? It is Sunday, the 4th of September. Now, I am jealous of my brother-in-law. He's lucky in many, many ways. He's one of those guys that when he enters stuff, he wins. Uh... This weekend, right now, as we speak, is PAX West. At PAX West, they are having a se several day panel with the World of Tanks developers, where they were putting people up, well not putting people up necessarily, but it was in a huge hotel with these people that there were 100 tickets to see and have dinner with and go to this hotel with the developers of World of Tanks. 100 tickets. 12,000 people applied for tickets. My brother-in-law won two of those tickets so that he and his son could go. 12,000 people and he won two. If I enter a contest where there's me and one other person I don't win, ever. I mean, it just does not happen. Statistically, it doesn't happen. I have never won a contest in my life, except for one from Anthony On Point. That's why I had my Loot Crate unboxing, because I won the contest because I was the only person that, that entered. And I frankly didn't expect to win that one. But I did, because I was the only person. That's the only time I've ever won. And my brother-in-law, 12,000 people, got two. I wouldn't even have gotten an acknowledgement that I, I'd sent off a, a thing, so. I feel glad for him, except that he always does this sort of thing. He wins these things. And so I'm glad for him, but it's not like it's anything special. This is what he does all the freaking time. He's one of those people that doesn't really have to put forth a lot of effort and walks away from every situation smelling really good, except, well, he's not allowed in a lot of places in town, like the church where he belongs and other things like that, because he's... abrasive so he's uh, not allowed into a lot of places in town so that he won that's nice uh, last night he and his son got back around midnight it's uh, 8 o'clock a.m. I just woke up which is one of the reasons I'm doing this one so late and uh, I went upstairs to go to the bathroom and they're gone already back up to Pax West pretty cool. Now when I just wake up, like I just woke up here, I can't just immediately sit down and turn on my camera, webcam, and then start going. Come here, Patches. Patches is huge. Patches weighs a pound and a half. She's a monster of a hamster. She's gigantic. Look at her. She looks like a little bus. Or a little meatloaf. A meatloaf. That's Patches. She's a good little girl. She's also vicious and brutal. And uh, generally when she has uh, puppies. Puppies? I didn't mean to say puppies. <laughs> when she has cubs, as they're known. Or pups. Didn't mean to say puppies. That was kind of cute. When she has puppies, God, I did it again. Oh well, let's just go with it. She, uh, generally they don't all survive. She's vicious. I had one of her babies once that was running around, eyes open, and I picked it up, and then I was putting it back in her cage, and she ran over to my hand, sniffed the baby in my fingers, pulled the baby out of my hand with her front paws, and pulled it to the ground, held it down, sniffed it aggressively, and then, uh, 
she bit its head. And her lower teeth went underneath like this. Her other teeth went over the top of its head into its eye socket and right into its brain. She killed it instantly because it smelled just a little bit like me. And the difference between her and, say, this other hamster I've got, Goldie, who's almost as big, but she's monster. Hi. The difference between them is, at one point, I had to take one of her babies away because it was a runt. It was not getting the food it needed, and I was afraid that she was going to kill it. So I took it away from her, and I gave it to my other hamster, Goldie. And Goldie, well, hamsters don't really do that sort of thing well. She was uh, taking care of all her other little babies. They were snuffling and snurfling and suckling on all of her little nipples. And she felt the extra baby, and she reared up and started sniffing it. And then she went, oh, okay, it's a baby, even though it's not mine. And then she rolled, leaned back, rolled over a bit so that it too could get a nipple, and then it was her baby from then on, even though it wasn't hers. And that was awesome. So she's vicious and brutal, and Goldie is accepting and not brutal. But I still like Patches. She's a wonderful little Annie. And when she's in heat, or actually reasons I don't know why, <laughs> she is so vocal. She'll run around her cage going, Meep! 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 When she wants things. And you can hear her all the way across the room. She's loud. And because I woke up so late, I don't know what I'm going to have for videos. I don't know what I'm going to have for reaction videos or game videos, which leads into this. I have to apologize for yesterday. I'm very sorry. When I found out the information, it was like a delayed action time bomb um, ammunition strike. It just went through my, punched through my armor, between my various masks, and then hit down in my uh, midst of my raw emotional pain and then sat there for like 12 hours and then exploded. And it destroyed my armor, knocked my masks everywhere, because we all have armor to protect ourselves from just, you know, attacks. You know, someone goes, God, you're stupid and ugly. And then you can just go, well, yeah, I, you know, I'm rubber, you're glue, whatever you say, bounce off me and sticks to you, you're the ugly one. And then it's like, then you go off, and you're going, ah, uh, 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 and then it's over. Well, that just destroyed my armor. I had no more protections. And everybody has masks. It's like when you go to work, you are not the same person as when you're at home. Well, if you're a school-age person and does not work, if you go to school, you do not act like the same person as when you're at home. That is your school mask. There's your public mask. There's your I'm doing this mask. Like if you're at a party, there's your I'm doing this mask. It's nobody really shows all the time what they are and what they're feeling. There's your public mask. Well, it knocked my masks all over the place and all I had left was just raw emotional pain. And my sincere apologies. A crane fly. They always go right through between me and my webcam or right into my face when I'm recording. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm very sorry about that. My armor is back in place and repaired. Fully repaired and working again. I have my game mask on for, you know, here I am. I'm working again. And all the raw emotional pain is covered up. No one has to worry. It's still there. It's just no one has to worry about it showing now. Oh, boy, because, man, did I have a lot of raw emotional pain. Uh, that Yesterday's episode was probably the second most number of uh, downvotes I've gotten in a video. So, thumbs up. Part of that, too, I have to really apologize. I have and will continue to do videos where if somebody acts like an idiot, I'm going to go, oh my god, this person's an idiot. 
I just think that yesterday, because of my raw emotional state, then when this person came up and pushed my buttons, I exploded a lot harder than I probably would have under any other situation because I had no armor to protect me. Because my masks to show all this were gone. All that was left was just the pain. And when that happens, you kind of... I bullied. I went just a little too far and bullied. And I feel bad about that. Because I didn't have to do the bullying while I was doing all the rest of it. So, to a very small degree... I'm sorry about the way that I acted with uh, my one person that I talked to yesterday. That was probably an ex... Like I said, it was... I think it was over... The, the thing is, it's hard for me to tell. I'm too close to it. I have got the vague feeling that I went too far, did too much. But I'm so close to it, I can't really tell. It's colored by all the grief and mourning that I was feeling yesterday. So I don't know how to process that. And I know I I went over the line. I, all I can do is hope that I didn't go too far. And then if I did, people are going to forgive me. I long ago did not like that sarcastic streak in me that I've been able to reduce people to tears with no effort. With sarcasm and sheer brutal wordplay. I have been devastating in the past and I hate that. I don't like it. I have spent the last almost 20 years beating my verbal swords into plows. Because I don't like hurting people. I don't like being able to devastate people. It's not good. It's not a good skill. And boy did I have it down. So I don't like doing it. And I know I went way overboard, so I'm just going to let it go with my apologies for how I stepped over the line and how far I stepped over the line. I'm not sorry that I defended myself against that ridiculous thing, but I think I went a bit too far and started punching and kicking someone when they were down. And that's not what I like to do. But it's hard for me to think correctly about that whole situation that happened yesterday because it's such raw emotional pain. So, I'm very sorry. Before I forget, because I can't do this one for too long because I'm 12 minutes into it and I've got to cut this one kind of short because I've got a lot of videos I need to do. Bom dia. Dia guit. La brit. Ahan yo Jean dobri. Or, less formally, chest. Now, as long as I'm in the ballpark for pronunciation, I think I'm doing pretty good. Polish is a plus ten difficulty language, and this is not La Jolla gang signs. I just talk with my hands, and one of the things that I've been doing lately is doing that. It's not an L, it's goddamn bugs. It's not an L or a La Jolla or anything like that. It's just the latest thing I'm doing with my fingers. Soon I'll start doing something else, but right now I do that. Where was I? Was I at Terra Homocost and Bariluz and Gumarias and Buenos Dias, Diadit, Bareda, Yorigel, Matanba, uh, Dobro Utro, Bongerno, Bocerta, Ohio, Comusta, Good Mo oh nope, Go Morgan, Nihau, Priviet, Gutentag, Und Slash Oder Good Morgan. Calimera, Bonjour, Dobre Rano, God Morgan. Labas Ritas, Merhaba, King Crack, something, 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 the crack, the crack, good food, good drink, good friends, it's what, well, I keep doing the language lessons on that one, today, just take it on faith that the crack used to be an American phrase, then it went to Ireland, it's come back, and the crack, good drink, good drink, good food, good friends, right, good drink, good food, good friends not good friends. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. As I think I've lost my mind. And there's been a big change in the atmosphere. If it's been raining, my sinuses are absolutely stuffed. I've been living on any hands. Histamines. I am allergic to leaf mold. 
which makes it great because here in the Pacific Northwest, when it rains, we have leaf mold in the air everywhere. So guess who lives on any histamines all during the winter time? Also, I wanted to point out there's the uh, well. You all saw the new Bellacore sticker that I've been, I've put up here. I hope. And then over here, there's a new uh, Dan and Phil thing. It's a whole bunch of uh, Dan and Phil characters standing about. Here's the uh, Tsum Tsum that was sent to me. Is there anything else that's new that I put up? I think that's about it. I don't have as many keychains that as as I wish I had. People have sent me like four, three or four. And I think keychains are awesome. So if you could send me more keychains, I'll put them up. As soon as I find a place that I can actually live, then I'm going to have a wall dedicated to it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do for a home. Uh, as it is, it's either uh, have to pay more rent than I can afford or uh, end up having to find a new place to live. I honestly don't know what's going to happen. I just don't even want to think about it because it's so... It's going to blast through my armor and knock my masks apart again. So I'm just going to leave that one aside. I got to choose my videos. I honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to get any game videos done today. It is 8.21 and that's... I'm a good two hours behind. Three hours. Probably four hours behind. See, when my parents left, I last night at about midnight-ish, I... Uh, got my stuff together and I took a walk. Except I didn't walk my normal walk. I walked down to the post office, checked the post office, and then walked to the store, bought some ice cream with some caramel topping, and then came back. And now it's 17 minutes into it, I ate food, and then of course fell asleep and then woke up at 8 o'clock and now here I am. I fed the hamsters, and all that because I've got a lot of hungry mouths to feed. I've got hungry bellies I have to fill. I fed the hamsters and took care of them. Started recording. And now I've got to stop recording because i got to go choose my videos. i got to go to random.org. i got to generate a whole bunch of random numbers at the integer generator. And then I've got to count through the videos. And then I've got to take those videos that I get and I gotta react to them, and then I gotta edit those, and for whatever reason. You see, when I was using Windows 7, even though my video card and my motherboard are supposed to crossfire, slash whatever, the, yeah, it's crossfire for AMD, they're supposed to work together. For whatever reason, you know, it never really did, but it worked pretty good. It could render a 10 minute video in about 10 minutes. Then I upgraded the Windows 10 upgraded to Windows 10. And now a 10 minute video takes about a half hour to render. Yesterday's uh, video, my vlog, that was about 20 minutes long, guess what? That took like an hour and a half to render. And it was just 15-20 minutes of me just sitting here and going, I'm really sad and boy this person is woo! And it took an hour and a half to render. I, I love Windows 10 because they had to change all the drivers and then suddenly all the video cards and, and, and the motherboards that used to not work like this but at least kind of work like this now work like this. They barely talk to each other. It takes four frickin' ever. I'm so glad. Windows 10. Thank you so frickin' much. Ugh. Well, you take care. Have a great day today. I gotta get work done. This it's 8:24. By the time I finish editing this, give me 15 minutes to editing. It's gonna be like 8:45 when I'm done. So I'm gonna start rendering this at 8:45. Hell, I'll be lucky if it's done by 10. So you take care. Have a great day. I'll see you way too late on the flip side. I'm very very sorry I fell asleep. But you take care, and I'll see you. Have a very very good day.